Hey guys, this is the Tunator, and today I am doing a video on how to become a vampire and the benefits and mostly drawbacks thereof uh, in Skyrim. So, uh, the first th uh, first thing is first, I want to say that there will be some spoilers in this video just in regards to uh, general, uh, you know, map area things where you can find vampires, and I believe the map area I'm going to show you does tie into several quests, uh, several, a couple of important quests, so if you don't want to be spoiled on that, stop watching I, I don't imagine there'll be much spoilers but again there's always the potential so just fair warning if you don't want to be spoiled uh stop now anyways uh the way to get infected in skyrim is to be just find vampires and get attacked by them uh, much the same way as i'm told it was in oblivion and uh possibly morrowind as well i'm not sure uh in any case you're going to want to go to helgen which is the starter town. It's the town that gets attacked by vam or dragons, <laughs> rather, at the beginning of the game. Everyone will have this marked on their map, which is why I've chosen it, as it's a very easily accessible area with vampires nearby, which you can go to. And that is this little cave, uh, Haymar's Shame, which we're going to run to. I just want to show you the exact path. And it'll take a couple minutes, I apologize. Uh, I have to u I'm using an earlier save for this, because, uh, important note, if you are a werewolf, like my character is right now, you cannot contract vampirism. Uh, you have full resistance to diseases as a werewolf, and vampirism is a disease. It's given to you through the medium of a, of a, a disease, a magical effect. So if you have somehow have a resistance to disease, uh, for, for full resistance to disease in some other form, even if you have mild resistance to disease, it will be either impossible or uh, very difficult for you to contract vampirism, so just look at lowering your disease resistance if you really want to be a vampire, because you're going to need to, in order to be able to get it. And if you're wondering why my skies looks different, I am using the Enhanced Night Skies mod, which makes, basically just makes the night sky look even more awesome than it already did. So, uh, there aren't that many mods out for Skyrim yet, but I am planning on doing a, a brief, uh, kind of just summary of some of the, the core ones that are out now, a video in the near future. And I apologize uh, for the lack of video on Monday. I was about to uh, do one, and then I got caught up in the whole uh, communities on hiatus thing. So my apologies. And for those of you who watch my Fallout videos, I will be resuming the Let's Play soon. It's just that Skyrim has been a bit of a distraction, and my, I am also working on the next month of the week. But again, as I'm sure you can appreciate, Skyrim has been a bit of a distraction. So I apologize for the extenuating circumstances, but know that... I have not forgotten them, I am still working on them, and you can expect new videos in that regard soon. And on the plus side, I've still been updating videos regularly, even if it's Skyrim stuff. So, that's something to be happy about, right? So we're going to go in here, and I can't quick save, because that will override my, my progress on my existing character to a fair degree. So, uh, I may have to use, yeah, i am probably have to use console commands to bring a vampire back to life to show you. But let me make sure I can, uh, I can contract. Yep, so you see, Vampirism will pop up here once you have it, so just check your magical effects, make sure you're not resistant to disease or anything like that. And I think there should be a dead vampire in here that I can resurrect. Yep, let's see if I can get it from her. Does, does that not work? Okay, so sorry for the jump there, but uh, what, for whatever reason, the console command to resurrect, that one wasn't working, so we're going to try it on her. Basically, you see know with the vampire beat on you for a bit and not die. Use my uh, DBZ power of magic to heal myself. And yeah. Uh, oh, yep. So you see, upper left hand corner, I've contracted vampire disease. And now I need to not die and kind of run out of here. So uh, I'll leave Lydia to hold off the nasty vampires. And to show you the effect, uh, you, you'll go to your active effects and you see. It's called, I don't know why it, it, it says, or actually I guess, I, don't, I, I kind of wish they said like the actual name for what it was calling it in here as opposed to just like what it does sometimes, but um, it's weird. But anyways, you see Sanguinary Vampiris, so it's just a debuff right now, but it turns into vampirism. So what happens is after three days, you have to wait three days and you will then contract uh, vampirism. So we're just going to run on out of here. And, uh, just kind of sit outside and show you the, uh, benefits and drawbacks to vampirism. And I'll be honest with you, I think vampirism in this game, the, the base game, it's, it's pretty terrible. Like, uh, I could be missing something, there could be stuff in the game that makes it better that I hadn't found out yet, but 
the drawbacks are obviously pretty severe in that like you, you just can't go outside and at higher levels i believe everyone just becomes hostile to you and they'll, they'll just kill you more or less on site uh but for whatever reason it's it, i don't know they, they just seem to have made it pretty terrible i'm not sure is it just mean the, the game is kind of colorless at the moment it must be because it's like really late but anyways so we're gonna wait a day and it should be so I'm just going to skip past the waiting. Alright, so here we are on the first day with vampirism. And it may not have progressed yet. But usually there's like a little kind of screen uh, effect. Yeah, it, it may not be working, so I'm going to skip the waiting again. So here we are on a day, or rather night two. You can see you still have the disease. I'm gonna wait one more night, and I, again, I'm, I apologize that the uh, normally there's like after, as you progress through this time uh, period, normally there'd be you know, like a little, like a purpley effect. I think possibly it's sunset, and it's like you know your blood loss, you feel like a blood loss or something like that. But it's not necessary to to see that. So waiting again. All right, so this is the third night, and at this point, uh, it should be almost active. So we're going to go inside. Alright, sorry for the jump there, but I had to do a little monkeying around with console stuff to get the, to get the triggers since it didn't want to. But anyways, as you just saw, I have just become a vampire. If you look at my eyes, this should be all... Cool. Let me take off my helmet just so that you can see better. Uh, if you look, my, my eyes are all ominous now. I think I'm, I'm... I don't think I'm supposed to be going like that. I think that's the game being glitchy. But, uh... Let's see if we can get a, a better look. Yep, see? Uh, red eyes. And if you look under your magical uh, effects... So you now have a, a whole bunch of crap. You have uh, you know, better spells. You have better sneaking. Obviously, you can't contract disease because you're on a vampire. Uh, more frost resistance, uh, poison resistance, and then uh, a weakness to fire. And you're also weak, but uh, the, to the sun. But the sun isn't lethal to you. If you're outside, you have like reduced stats and health. And uh, as a level one vampire, other people will will, will talk to you. Like they'll they'll still. Uh, they won't uh, flee from you. They'll only flee at level. They'll, they'll be hostile level th or fear you at level three, and they'll be hostile level four. So you see, you have a reanimation spell and uh, a night vision spell. So we'll try casting that. Uh, actually, uh, is that a power? Yep, it's a power. Sorry, rather. Uh, so you see, now we have uh, just cool night vision. Uh, and again, the thing about powers is, I believe these are once a day, which is one of the uh, kind of eh things about a vampire. But I could be wrong. Actually, yeah, it looks like that's at will. Sorry, my bad. So you do get some useful at will powers. Uh, I apologize. I still I'm not too familiar with the uh, the actual benefits of being a vampire. Uh, and you do get the drain spell as well. So let's see if we can try that on Lydia. So. So you see that just drains a, a bit of HP, and she does have very high HP. And uh, I'm just going to have to kill her now because she's being sassy. Long life. Never should have come here. <laughs> Anyways, uh, you see how it's not really a, a great at this level, but it's still okay. And now if you wait 24 hours without feeding, uh, you should become a little 2 vampire. So we're going to cut the weight. So you see it says your vampiric powers grow as you hunger, so I should be a level 2 vampire now. See, it adds a kind of a, a you know a hostility debuff to remove hostility. Uh, your vampire sight. Uh, I don't think that gets better, but your vampire servant get better, and uh, your life drain is also better. It's uh, three seconds down instead of two. I don't think there's anything else, but uh, and if you look at your resistances, uh, I think the resistances go up. Uh, frost, yeah, frost is fifty percent now. 
and your weaknesses are also get more acute though so you may start you'll start taking damage in the sun at i think level three but uh you at, at this point the weaknesses start to begin more pronounced and if we wait another 24 hours uh, this is the last stage you can be at where NPCs will interact with you normally. Once you go to level 3, they will fear you. So we are now here at a level 3 vampire. And again, this is a level NPCs will st inter still interact with you, but uh, they won't approach you. They'll, they'll fear you. So, uh, you see Vampire Serving gets even better. Vampire Seduction does not get more powerful, uh, I believe. But Vampiric Drain is 4, uh, HP is 2nd now. Let's just check through everything else to make sure. And the active effects, your weakness to fire is even worse. You will definitely burn in the sun at this level, I believe. Uh, 70% frost resistance. Uh, sneaking doesn't really get much better. And this is uh, really the biggest problem I have with vampirism. is just that like the, the bonuses, while the spells are cool, I, I just feel like the, uh, the bonuses are really not that worth it in comparison to the, just the massive drawbacks. Like, vampires should be... Like, they should be, you know, pretty overpowered because they're, you know... They're vampires, like, it's what they do. But in any case, wait it again. So this is the final level of, of vampirism where you're just, uh, you're, you're, like, dead if you're in the sun. But you, your spells are, uh, you're quite powerful. Your drain is, like, a, I think it's, like, 5 HP a second now, yeah. And uh, you just overall have some quite some good abilities. So since as a vampire, you can only feed on people while they're sleeping, and, you have to, and at this level you're feared, they give you a power that makes you kind of Invisible, a la, you know, Halo-style active camouflage or something. <laughs> so you should be able to just faintly see me as I'm, I'm sneaking around. You can see, like, <coughs> see my life drain. And this, uh, and th this will just let you get around without people seeing you, so you can feed, go into towns and feed and such. And I guess just my, my main problem with vampirism, as, uh, just, uh, opposed to... And let's, let's turn it off. Yeah, see, this is a once a day, which is, again, my main problem is that when you compare it to, uh, Werewolf form. Once you, werewolf form. Once you get the the thing that lets you transform whenever you want. Werewolves are they have they're just very powerful in combat, and their their abilities are stuff that other that at least not that form might have seen so far can really be uh, replicated that well. Like the, the dash attack, the really long fast travel, all that stuff. Whereas vampires are uh, a bit weak in, in my eyes. But anyways, uh, that's how you become a vampire. Again, just find a vampire. Uh, this, this location works pretty well and it's very close to the starting area. You just let them fight on you until it tells you in the upper left hand corner, or fight you rather, until it tells you in the upper left hand corner of the screen you've contracted like Sanguinous Vampirus or whatever. Then you just run around, wait for three days, and start being a vampire. So, uh, enjoy. It's really, again, you just, just gotta feed if, uh, in order to keep your level down. If you want to become more powerful, just don't feed for 24 hours and you'll get stronger, but there's also drawbacks to that. And, uh, I will probably do a video later on on, you know, just, just curing it. So, yeah, enjoy being a vampire. It may not be the best thing out there, but it's still pretty cool. And uh, for those of you who like uh, running around in it, it's actually quite accessible even from the start of the game, which is nice. This is the Tunator. I'll see you all later.